Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, goodness. God is a good God. He's a great God, and he's worthy to be praised. Welcome to Come Home. Stop talking about it. I am Pastor Tamala Lucas. Hallelujah. We're going to come from 2 Chronicles today. Amen. I'll read this scripture every time I get on here because it is just a reminder, but today we're going to go on more detail, hallelujah, of the significance. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then I will hear from where? Heaven. Amen. Then I will hear from heaven. We're going to go in detail about that. Because a lot of people always want to talk about scriptures. But what is that scripture really, really saying? Amen. You can see my skirt and my, uh, I know you can see my skirt. Well, oh, well. At least I got a skirt on. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. So let us go ahead and sing. Thank you, Lord. Thank Thank you, Lord. Ooh, I just want to thank you, Lord. You've been so good. Been so good. Been so good. I just want to thank you, Lord. Oh, you made a way. Made a Thank you for your blessings each and every day. Thank you for blessing me all the time. Lord, I praise you and I give you praise. Oh, I thank you for the sunshine and I thank you for the rain. And I thank you for deliver us. From a world where sin and shine. And I thank you for the blessing that you always bring my way. Lord, I thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I just want to thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Holy, we cut it aside. Hallelujah. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Hallelujah. I give you all praises, our glory, our honor. There is no God beside thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are a God that sits up high, looks down low. You see everything. You know everything. You hear everything. You already know what's going to happen before it happens. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord. You have placed every soul on this earth in different parts of the earth for a reason. We are who we are for a reason. We speak the language that we speak for a reason. How we're in the culture that we are in for a reason. Everything is for a reason. Hallelujah. And we give you the praise today. We give you the glory because you are an omnipotent God. Hallelujah. You're a mighty God. Hallelujah. You can do all things but fail. 
And when you created us, you made each and every single one of us so unique. Hallelujah. We're so different, so special, even twins and triplets. Hallelujah. We still got our own identity. Hallelujah. Can't nobody do that. Hallelujah. The scientists, they tried to clone people and clone animals. Hallelujah. But they still need hallelujah, the DNA that you have created. Hallelujah. They cannot create a human without the DNA. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So we give you the praise today. Hallelujah. You're worthy. Hallelujah. Of all praises, glory, and honor today. And we give you the glory. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for our leaders, Lord. Leading God and the natural and the spiritual leaders all over this world. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. They need you right now, Lord. Let them not get beside themselves. Let, let them not think they too big to humble themselves. Hallelujah. Let them not forget how that we, all of us, no matter how big we think we are or how small we think we are, we all get to come to Jesus. We all get to come to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because you're worthy of all praises. You're worthy of all glory. Hallelujah. We give you the glory and honor today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you for your anointing, tearing down strongholds in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We all glory be to God. We thank you for those, hallelujah, who are going through addiction and they stop and they say, I'm tired of this. I don't want to be on drugs. I don't want to be on alcohol. I don't want to be on none of this anymore. Lord, we thank you for giving us strength to let those strongholds go in the name of Jesus because the first step is to have a desire to let it go. Hallelujah. Glory be to God to the highest. Oh, Lord, you're worthy, Lord. We pray for other strongholds. Hallelujah. They are keeping people in captivity, Lord. Hallelujah. You are a deliverer today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We're asking, hallelujah, that you heal those who are going through bereavement in the name of Jesus. There's so much death. Hallelujah. But Lord, we pray, hallelujah, that you strengthen their mind, their heart, and their soul in the name of Jesus. Strengthen them to hold on and go through. Lord, strengthen the families in the name of Jesus. Get them a mind to work together. Hallelujah, not against each other. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy today. Glory, hallelujah, Lord. Lord, we pray, hallelujah, for those who are sick and shut in, Lord. Increase their faith, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah, your word say, if we have a faith of a size of a mustard seed, Hallelujah, things will move, but we got to have that faith, hallelujah. We got to believe, hallelujah. Glory be to God, we can't doubt it. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, you worthy, hallelujah. Glory be to God, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for keeping us in our right mind. Somebody went to sleep last night and then woke up and didn't know who they were and where they were in the name of Jesus. Well, we thank you for keeping us in our right mind. Hallelujah. Glory be to God to the highest. Hallelujah. We thank you for watching over us as we slept all night, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you for keeping us. Hallelujah. As we go to our destination and come back and forth. Hallelujah. That you're watching over us and you're watching over our children and watching over our grandchildren. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for covering us in our neighborhood. Hallelujah, in our jobs and schools and wherever our destinations and places that we go to on a daily basis. Hallelujah, maybe we're walking up and down the street for our help, getting on the bus, hallelujah. Whatever it is, Lord, we thank you for covering us and watching over us. Lord, keep our minds stayed on you, Lord. And let us remember that everywhere we go, we represent you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, the way we talk and walk and move and everything, all our whole being, hallelujah, belongs to you. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Give us a conscience today to do right, a conscience to do right, walk right and talk right and live right in the name of Jesus. Lord, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, hallelujah, of God glory, hallelujah, honor. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are you. Glory. You're worthy. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are coming from 2 Chronicles chapter 7. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning, Aunt Deborah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This is a famous scripture. Hallelujah. We always, we always read it, but what is it actually saying? Amen. If my people, I thought about this all week. If my people, he didn't say if the people, he said my people. And I thought about that thing and said, Lord, what are you saying? If my people, hallelujah. He was very pacific when he said my people, hallelujah. What is he talking about? Hallelujah. Let's just break that thing down. Hallelujah. My people. Hallelujah. People who say, I believe you, Lord. People who say, I'm going to do what you say, Lord. People who say, I'm going to walk and talk and walk this thing. I'm going to live this thing. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. He said, if my people, glory be God, which are called by my name. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. So we call him one day. Oh, we was distressed. We was down and out. Hallelujah. We couldn't find a way out. Our back was against the wall. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We said, Lord, we can't take it no more. It's just too much. Hallelujah. And you look down and we call on you and you heard our cry. You said, okay, I, I see how much you can bear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to take a little bit of this off. Hallelujah. But I'm not going to take all of it off. Just a little bit. And say to yourself, why, Lord? Why, why are you just taking a little bit off? Hallelujah. And he, he referred us to Paul. Hallelujah. Paul said, Lord, don't you see me suffering? Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Don't you see me suffering, Lord? Hallelujah. Glory. And God said, my strength is what? Sufficient. Woo, Jesus. Hallelujah. You said, but Lord, you, and you asking God, hallelujah, I'm going through this and I'm going through that. <laughs> and, and Lord, can you just give me, let me breathe right now, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I'm in pain. Hallelujah. Uh, I, I'm going through finances, trouble. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I, I need a job. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And this is going on. That's going on. People acting up. It's just too much, Lord. Hallelujah. And Paul went to God. He said, can you deliver me? Hallelujah. Woo! Glory be to God. Can you set me free, Lord? Hallelujah. And God said, my strength, hallelujah, is sufficient. Woo! Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So when you go through things, hallelujah, you say to yourself, why, hallelujah, glory be to God. Why must I suffer, hallelujah, glory be to God. Woo, Jesus. Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah. But you got to think about when Paul went to God and he tried to get deliverance and God said it's sufficient. Why, hallelujah, if we never had trouble in our life, we wouldn't pray. If we never had trouble in our life, we wouldn't go to God. Hallelujah. If we never suffer, we will forget who God is. Hallelujah. You know how it is. Hallelujah. Everything going smooth. You're not thinking about God. Sometimes people forget to pray. Hallelujah. Why? Because everything just so smooth and rosy. Hallelujah. You're getting up. You're going to work. Hallelujah. Things just... Your bills paid. Everybody nice. Everybody sweet. Hallelujah. You have no pain in your body. Hallelujah. And you just going on in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And there's no God in your vocabulary. There's no God, hallelujah, in your life. Hallelujah. So you forget about God. Hallelujah. So suffering comes, hallelujah, to remind you, hallelujah, who God is. He said, it's my people. Hallelujah. 
He said, my people. Because see, his people always forget who he is. He said, if my people, hallelujah, people who said, Lord, hallelujah, I'm going to serve you. Lord, I'm going to give my all to you. Lord, hallelujah, I dedicate my life to you. He said, if my people, he didn't say all people, hallelujah. He didn't say this people and that people. He said, my people, hallelujah. He was very specific. He said, if my people, hallelujah, will call who? My name, hallelujah. He was very specific when he said, my people, Hallelujah. He's talking to the church. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's not talking to the world. See, we get we get caught up when we read the Bible. We think it, he talking to everybody. He's talking to the people who said, I'm going to serve God. I'm going to live for God. I'm going to do for God. He said, if my people, hallelujah, glory be to God, which are called by my name. Hallelujah. Shall what? humble themselves. Why? Hallelujah. Because some of us get a position and we forget, hallelujah, to humble ourselves. Hallelujah. We get a position and we start looking down on folks. Mm. What they doing here? Mm. Why they here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And we got to remember, hallelujah, Every single person that is on this earth, God put them on here, not us. Hallelujah. So you, if you are in leadership, where it's a church or a job or whatever it is, volunteer work, whatever leadership you are in, you got to be careful how you treat people. Because he said, if my people, he ain't talking about the world. He talking about those who said, I'm going to trust God. I'm going to obey God. I'm going to follow God. If my people, which are called by my name, hallelujah, shall humble themselves and pray, hallelujah, or be praying for others, hallelujah, or we, and what kind of prayer is it? Hallelujah. Are we praying for people to fall? Woo! Jesus. I hope we're not. Hallelujah. He said, if my people who are called by my name, hallelujah, shall humble themselves and pray, hallelujah. We're praying for salvation, hallelujah. We need people to be saved. Don't you see what's going on in this world today, hallelujah. Hell is real, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You think the devil is playing with us? He don't care about any of us. He'll take all of us out. If, he taking, you see all these tornadoes, the churches, everything falling down. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Different big old buildings. The little steel, it just looked like butter. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. When the weather comes. So you don't want God to turn his back on you because you didn't humble yourself. Because see, when the devil stepped in, he's not going to have mercy. Hallelujah, because his job is to kill, steal, and destroy. Hallelujah, that's his job. Hallelujah, he's not going to pay patty cake with you. Hallelujah, he already got a strategy. Hallelujah, because in his head, hallelujah, if this don't work to take you out, I'm going to use this to take you out. Hallelujah, he always, he got multiple ways to take you out. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we got to be on our P's and Q's. Hallelujah. We got to obey God and do. He said, he said, if my people, he won't call it the world. He said, my people, those who, pose, who say I'm going to serve God. Hallelujah. If my people, hallelujah, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and what? Seek my faith. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Some might say, I don't know how to seek God. Hallelujah. And he'll say, how did you form your words to say that? What you mean you don't know how to seek God? You know what happened? We got so comfortable. Hallelujah. We forgot how to pray. Hallelujah. We got so comfortable. We forgot how to pick up our Bible. Look at my Bible. I read my Bible. That's how I was all ripped up. Hallelujah. I read my Bible. I study the word. Hallelujah. I'm trying to find out what do God want from me. Hallelujah. 
Am I right? Hallelujah. I got to evaluate myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the word of God said, save yourself from this untoward generation. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Save yourself. Hallelujah. From this untoward generation. Hallelujah. So I got to evaluate who? Myself. Hallelujah. I don't got time to worry about what is Susie doing today. Hallelujah. But I have to worry about what is Tamala doing today. Hallelujah. Is Tamala doing right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is Tamala talking right? Is she living right? Hallelujah. Does she treat people right? Hallelujah. Glory be to God because I got an answer to God. Hallelujah. I got to go to God when he called my name. Hallelujah. Because we don't know. Hallelujah. When we're going to leave this earth. Hallelujah. But we got to be ready. Hallelujah. When God call our name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. So when he call my name, I stand before him. Hallelujah. Glory be God. And he do a flashback of my life. Hallelujah. All the times he gave me chances to repent, all the chances to do right and turn from my wicked ways and just do right and live. Hallelujah. I will stand before him. Hallelujah. What, what excuse would I have? Hallelujah. Would I blame my mama? Would I blame my daddy? Hallelujah. Would I blame my brother and sister, my aunt, my uncle, my niece, my nephew, the boss, hallelujah, the pastor, hallelujah, the neighborhood? Who would I blame? Or would I blame myself, hallelujah? If I don't make it in, would I blame myself, hallelujah? Because he said, if my people, he didn't say the word. He did not say the word. He said, if my people, that means people who say they're going to live right. If my people which are called by my name. What are we supposed to do? We're supposed to humble ourselves, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Humble ourselves, glory be to God. Don't be so arrogant. Oh my goodness, oh, here they come. Don't touch me. You see, I got my new suit on today. Oh, be quiet. You can wash that suit. Hallelujah. You better be careful because God will burn the suit up. How to keep on acting like you can't be touched. Keep on acting like you untouchable. Keep on acting like oh, this is my stuff. Hallelujah. Everything that God gives you, hallelujah, it's a gift. It's a blessing. Isn't that what Job said? Hallelujah. Job said God gives it and he takes it away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We get stuff and we think it's, it's mine. It's mine. Hallelujah. But what if God, hallelujah, bless you with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cars? Hallelujah. What you going to do? Just keep on going outside staring at it like, woo, look at my BMW. Look at my Corvette. Look at this. Look at my Rolls Royce. Look at this. Hallelujah. What if God tell you to give one of the cars away? Hallelujah. What you gonna have an attitude? Oh my goodness, why I gotta give my car away? Why I gotta get hallelujah? Don't be like the rich man. Hallelujah. God said, give all your stuff away. And he said, Oh no. Lord, you know, I always serve you. I, 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 I trust you, Lord. I obey you, Lord. But uh, you want me to do what? You want me to give my stuff away? But, but Lord, you know. He couldn't see past his nose. If God had blessed you once, whoo, whoo, glory. If God had blessed you once, you don't think God going, he's not going to keep on blessing you over and over and over and over again? Whoo, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're talking to somebody who's been homeless three different times. Three different times. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God will give it and you'll take it away. Hallelujah. Glory. That's why I'm not caught up on material things because I know God will take it and he'll give it back. Hallelujah. His word is true. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, we can't get caught up on this material things. Hallelujah. We get too caught up in it. Oh, if God, if you God is the blessing, God, like He's like you say He is, hallelujah, glory be to God. 
if God tell you to give your stuff away, give it away. He got some better for you. Hallelujah. We got to learn how to give. We got to learn how to love. He said, if my people, he ain't talking about the world. The, see what the church want to do. We want to condemn the world. We want to say, look what they doing. And, and, and I thought about that. What you worrying about the world doing for? So that the world is doing what the world is supposed to do. That's what the world is supposed to do. Are you envying the world? Are you jealous of the world because they are sinning? Hallelujah. They're doing what they're supposed to do. Hallelujah. He said, if my people, hallelujah, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. God want us to be right. The rapture can't even come because the church won't do right. We can't blame the world. We got to blame the church. We got to blame the people who said we're going to call on Jesus. We got to blame the people who said we serve God. We got to blame those people. Hallelujah. He said, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. Hallelujah. Things won't get this bad. Hallelujah. If we did right. But see, God knew we weren't going to do right. We weren't going to do right. No. We just refuse to live right. We rather put somebody down, make somebody feel bad, then lift them up. And God is not happy and God is not pleased. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He's not happy and he's not pleased with us. Hallelujah. We're talking about when the rapture going to come. Hallelujah. And every time you turn on Facebook and YouTube, you see another pastor doing something that is ugh, disgusting. Disgusting. And they, they lead a whole bunch of people. They got thousands and thousands and thousands of people in their congregation and they mistreating God's people. You think God is happy? God is not happy. He is not happy. Ooh, Lord, sweet Jesus, he's not happy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He is not happy. You think God, woo? oh my God. And we sitting here and the world is watching and the world say, mm, see, that's why I, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I ain't going to church. You see that? That's why God shut the church down. Hallelujah. That's why this virus is here. Hallelujah. That's why God slowed everything down. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. God is a merciful God. And he give us time to repent. And he give us time to humble ourselves. But he said, if my people, he didn't say the world. <clears throat> he could have reworded it. He could have said, okay, um, those who are called by my name, just humble yourself. He didn't say that. He didn't say that at all. He said, if my people, my people, those who chose me and I chose you, if my people, glory be to God, he was very pacific. If my people, which are called by my name, shall harm themselves, that's who God is talking to. We, we always want to throw this Bible on the world. We want to throw this Bible on everybody but us. We want to blame everybody but us. Don't you know if we was living right, people would run to God? Because the word of God said, with love and kindness have I draw thee. Some of us are mean than a rattlesnake. Just nasty. You say, how? Mm -hmm. Woo! Don't you feel the chills go down your back? I felt it. Hallelujah. And I'm in the church. Hallelujah. There's some people you say hi to them and, and they act like you hit them or did something too. You, and you look at them like, well, dad, what did I do? All I said was hi. If you treat me like that, no telling how you treat the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You think God is happy? You think God is pleased? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. No, he's not. Hallelujah. And he's uncovering all different kind of people. Hallelujah. And, he, and those who he has not uncovered yet, you better humble yourself and repent before he uncover you. <clears throat> Jesus. 
You better do it first. Hallelujah. Because the word of God said, repent what? Quickly. Hallelujah. Change from your wicked ways quickly. Hallelujah. If not, he's going to expose you. Oh, honey, when God expose you, can't nobody unexpose you. Hallelujah. It won't be a pretty sight. Hallelujah. He, we, we're in a time where everything's on Facebook and TV and all that stuff. When God expose you, the whole world will see it. Hallelujah. You want God to open up your skeletons in your closet? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You want God to open you up so the whole world can see you? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I don't. I'll tell you that now. I'm going to be honest. Hallelujah. I don't tell everybody everything about my past. Hallelujah. Because it's what? My past. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And, and, and I read other people's posts. How I said, thank God we didn't have social media when we was in our 20s, in our, in our teens, for all the things that we have done. Let's be honest. We did some stuff, honey. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But God covered it up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we had a repentant heart. Hallelujah. He covered it up. Hallelujah. Because we said, Lord, we're sorry. We didn't mean to do that. We didn't mean to say that or do that or go over there. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh, you know we did some things. Hallelujah. But we didn't have that social media so the whole world can see it. But one thing about God, if you get so arrogant and think, I got away with that. Don't you know he will send somebody from your past to bring your dirt back up? Hallelujah. He said, if my people, he's talking to the church. If my people. Hallelujah. And people think, oh, I'm not in a church building. So he's not talking to me. No, he's talking to the individual. You are the church. The individual is the church. Whether you go inside a building or not, when you walk up and down the street, you represent Christ. When you go up and down the street, how the people should see Christ. People see, see Christ in you. Hallelujah. When you go to work, go to school, everywhere you go, you should look different. Everywhere you go, people say, hmm, that person represents Christ. Yeah, uh, 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 you, you, you're different from everybody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But people shouldn't run away from you because, they say, oh, here come troublemaker. Mm, here come troublemaker. Here come the person who always keeping up confusion. Here come the person who always keeping up mess. Always talking about somebody, always putting people down, always making people feel bad. Oh, here they come. And people running from you because they already know your MO. And that's not good. Hallelujah. Because God is talking to the church. And some people think, oh, don't you know when I was younger and I didn't really understand the Bible very well? And there were people who would invite me to the church. And because I did not like that individual, I assume, and you know what the word assume means, I assume that mm, that person go to church. They must go to Satan's place, Satan's club. I, I mean, I, I can't see them going to church. And I assumed that everybody was just like that person. But when I get older, that's when I realized one bad apple can mess up the whole church. Just one bad apple. Hallelujah. So when we say the church, we're talking about individuals. Hallelujah. How are you living? Are you living right in front of people? And when you're not in front of people, how are you living behind closed doors? Hallelujah. Are you the devil behind closed doors? Are you one of those people? You go, you walk out. Hey, how you doing? Hey, everybody, how you doing? And everybody think you're just sweet as pie. And then when you get behind closed door, you, ugh, ugh, you, ugh, you one of those people? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God is not pleased. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, if my people, he was very pacific. 
if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. A lot of us are not praying. And some of us who are praying, we're not praying right. We got evil prayers. Yeah, I hope she fall down the steps. I hope her husband leave her. I hope this, I hope, ooh, evil. And you think God is pleased. God don't want to hear those prayers. Prayers are not to curse people. Prayers are to uplift people. Lord, please deliver so-and-so from addiction. Lord, please deliver so-and-so from abuse. Lord, please deliver so-and-so from this. Lord, please open the door for so-and-so so they can have a job, so they can take care of their family. Lord, please, hallelujah, touch so-and-so's heart and show them how to raise their children right with love and kindness so that those babies can grow up and be productive adults when they get older. Hallelujah. That's what kind of prayer we're supposed to have. Not the prayer of, oh, you this and you that and you this and you that. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. How, watch how we pray. Our prayers are not supposed to be to hurt somebody, to condemn somebody. Hallelujah. But our prayers to uplift and look for deliverance. We, people need deliverance today. They don't need they don't need that your criticism. They don't need you to put them down and make them feel worse. They already feel bad. When they suffering, when they're going through, they feel bad already. They don't need you to hurt them. They already hurt. They already hurt. And we and God said, if my people, he, he already knows who's gonna get beside ourselves. And think we all that in a bag of chips. Well, he said, you better humble yourself. You don't want God to take things away from you. You don't. You don't want God to take things away from you, to humble you. Hallelujah. You want God to humble you? Jesus. <clears throat> and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Why would God call the church wicked? Why would God say that? Why would God say wicked ways? Why? Because he already knew when people get positioned, you know how people are. You can hang with people for years, but as soon as they get that position, they change. They And then you be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what happened? How does it happen? And then when you try to talk to them, you can't even talk to them anymore because they they up here. They up here now. They they way up here. How you doing? Well, I don't have time for you right now. You don't have time for me. When you was down and out and you had snot coming out your nose and tears coming out your ass. Hallelujah. I had time for you, but now I'm hurt. Now I got tears coming out my eyes. Now I got snot coming out my nose and my heart is broke. And now you don't have time for me? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We got to humble ourselves. Hallelujah. Turn from our wicked ways. God is not pleased with us. Hallelujah. And we got to stop blaming the world. That's the world doing what the world doing. God's not mad at the world. God is mad at the church. Because every day, I don't know about you, but every day when I look at Facebook or YouTube, somebody from the church, a pastor, hallelujah, is doing something with the people that they had no business doing. And they married. I'm called for. Some of these people, like the word of God said, some people went and some people were sent. And these evil people who are mistreating folks, they weren't sent by God. They went because their mind was already set to hurt. They saw opportunity. They said, hmm, I can grab all these people if I act like. See, they was in um, sheep 
clothing, for there was wolves underneath. Did you hear what I say? They was they looked like a sheep from the outside, but inside they was wolves. They already had a master plan. We're going to grab all these people. We're going to act nice at first. And once we rule the end, then we're going to hurt them and we're going to mistreat them. And some people who are being mistreated don't know how to let go. They don't know how to walk away when the word of God said, come out from among them. God has given us, hallelujah, he has given us opportunity to run. If, glory be to God, if you're in a situation that's not good for you, he said, come out from among them. That means run, get away, go to safety. God don't want us in an environment that's not safe for us. No, he don't. God doesn't want us to be in an environment that's going to hurt us, that's going to destroy us. Hallelujah. God wants us to have an abundant life. He don't want us to be miserable. Hallelujah. And if we suffer, we're supposed to suffer for Christ. What, what does that mean? That means if I'm walking down the street, how to like Peter, Hallelujah was walking down the street and they said, hey, he, he's with Jesus. And Peter said, uh-uh, not me, uh-uh, because see, he knew he was about to suffer. So he lied and said, oh, not me. I don't know who Jesus is. Uh-uh, not me, mm, mm That's the kind of suffering you're supposed to have. When we walk up and down the street and somebody said, oh, we're going to take them out because they serve God. Hallelujah. That's the suffering we're supposed to have. Hallelujah. But all this other suffering because we brought it upon ourselves, that's something different. Hallelujah. Because we're going to reap what we sow. Hallelujah. I don't care how nice you change because when Saul became Paul, he still had to reap what he sow. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And sometimes we look at our situation and we say, but Lord, I'm saved now. I'm doing right. I'm living right. But we have to remember, what did we do before we got saved? Hallelujah. Did we hurt people before we got saved? Hallelujah. Were we wrong? What, what did we do? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God is worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all praise, his glory, and honor. All God wants us is a humble heart. A loving heart. He just wants us to love each other. Hallelujah. People can't come to God if you're nasty. People can't come to God if you tear them down. Who wants to be around somebody who makes them feel like they ain't worth the air on this earth? Who wants to be around people like that? Hallelujah. I've been through that. Hallelujah. When I was around people that make you feel like you shouldn't even get up in the morning. They just talk to you any kind of way. What? They say they're a child of God, but they can talk to you. And, and, and the way they talk to you, they might as well have just cuss you out. Because the way they say things is hurtful. Hallelujah. They don't just peel your skin back and watch you bleed. They just let they just watch you and look at you and hope that you die. Hallelujah. That's why God said, if my people, he's not talking to the world. He said, if my people, hallelujah, we got to get this together. We got to get this right. Hall souls are at stake. Hallelujah. People, souls are at stake. People are crying out. People are hurt. Hallelujah. They are hurt and they need a savior. They need to see God. Hallelujah. This is the time where people should be running to God. Are we there to help them? Or are we so mean and nasty and, and, and so unwilling to reach out? Hallelujah. What are we doing? Are we showing love? Hallelujah. Are we showing forgiveness? A lot of people did me wrong. I still love them. I still forgive them. If they ask for help today, I'm going to help them. Somebody, what you going to help them for? You, 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 you know what they said to you and what they did to you, And 
They got to they gotta deal with God. They got to deal with God. Hallelujah. They got to deal with God, not me. So we got to be careful what we say and what we do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to we got to do what the word say. Hallelujah. You got to do what the word say. Let's read it one more time cuz sometimes we forget we get amnesia. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then Will I hear from where? Heaven. Hallelujah. God hear. He will hear our prayers. Then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Some of us are praying and, and, and God's not listening to us. We're praying and praying. And we say, why, why this not happening? And why this not happening? We got to evaluate our lives. We got to look at our lives. Are we living right? Are we doing right? We got to look at our lives. Are we forgiving people? Are we loving on people? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We got to do what God say do. Hallelujah. We got to do what God say do. Honey, and stop hurting folks. God's not pleased. You can't be walking around here hurting folks talking about you a child of God. The devil is a lie. You a child of Lucifer. Hallelujah. Because God said, with love and kindness have I draw thee. God don't go around hurting folks. He don't. Hallelujah. He gives us a mind to serve him and love him. And it's up to us to love him back. Hallelujah. He's not going to make us love him. That's why he gave Adam and Eve a choice. They had a choice to do right. And we got a choice to do right. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We got a choice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As good as God has been to me, I can't afford not. To praise his name as good as God has been to me. Oh, I'm going to give him the highest praise as good as God has been to me. I can't afford now to praise him. As good as God has been to me, I'm going to give him the highest praise. Hallelujah, 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 I'm going to give him the highest praise as good as God has been to me I can't afford not to praise him as good as God has been to me I'm going to give him the highest praise hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I'm going to give him the highest praise. Hallelujah, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. I'm going to give him the highest praise. And the highest praise is hallelujah. Glory be to God. Honey, so keep your mind on Lord. And remember, everywhere you go, you represent God. Hallelujah. So put on your happy heart. Hallelujah, you down and out. Watch God send somebody away to cheer you up. 
to lift you up, to remind you, baby, I still love you. I got you. I know you hurt. I know you're going through. I know you don't feel good. You want to let go. You tired. You just want to lay down. Hallelujah. But God will send somebody to comfort you to say, it's all right. Give you a hug, might buy you a flower or something, maybe a dinner to remind you how to, I still love you. I still love you. I got you. How don't worry about it. Hallelujah. I'm here for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We represent God everywhere we go. Hallelujah. He said, My people. He's not talking about the world. He said, My people. Hallelujah. And He loves us so much. Oh, God loves us. Hallelujah. And he gives us chances over and over again. We got to get ourselves together. The world is depending on us. Hallelujah. And we give God the glory and the praise and the honor today. And we're asking God to lead and guide us in everything and everything that we do and say, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God loves us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For those who have not bought my book, hallelujah, please support me. Hallelujah. I, I, uh, my first book is called Poppy, You Are Love. That's about my mom from a child's point of view of the abuse that I had to watch as a child. Hallelujah. And I know I'm not the only one who watched their um, parents uh, have fights and, and watch their mom get black eyes and busted lips and all that stuff. I know I'm not the only one, but I wrote about it. Hallelujah. Glory be God, I even wrote a children's book. How I feel any given day is about the days of the week. Hallelujah. And the third book, I'm in collaboration with women all over the world. Hallelujah. And we became number one bestseller international author. So, hallelujah. Look at my page. Hallelujah. Order my books. Hallelujah. Support me. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I even got a song. Hallelujah. Called hallelujah. When I Was Nothing, God Loved Me. Listen to that song, hallelujah, because when I was nothing, hallelujah, I'm talking about all the things that I've been through, hallelujah, when I was homeless, when I didn't have nowhere to go, when I had to stay in a shelter and stay over people's house, hallelujah, glory be to God, but God kept me, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, so look and read those things and listen to it, hallelujah, because I'm here to encourage you to let you know God got us, no matter what we are faced with. What we're going through with, God got us. Hallelujah. And we got to hold on to God's unchanging hand because God is keeping us. God loves us enough, hallelujah, to say, okay, I'm slowing everything down so you can reevaluate, so you can repent, so you can get yourself together. I'm slowing everything down, hallelujah, so you can change your life and get your life together. Amen. That's a merciful God. That's how much he loves us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who would not serve a God like this? My mom used to say that when I was a child. She said, who wouldn't serve a God like this? Hallelujah. And here I am, almost 50. Next year, I'll be 50 if it's the Lord's will. Hallelujah. I'm going to Las Vegas next year for my 50th birthday. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Hallelujah. All right. If God allow me to see 50, I'm going to Las Vegas. Some people say, well, you know, that's Sin City. Honey, how to look? Look, you can go there and sin all you want, but I'm going to enjoy myself. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I'm looking forward to that. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I'm excited. Hallelujah. So you have a blessed day today. Be safe, pay attention to your surroundings, and pay attention to who you entertain, because the Bible said you might be entertaining angels. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're asking God to watch over you and your family this whole week until we meet again. Amen. Love you. Have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye. Hallelujah. 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 There we go.